Hey everyone, Bucks Gearbox, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to take a look at this giant mouse GMP9. Hey, once again, thank you for everyone who supports my videos. Thank you for my patrons and my subscribers. Appreciate you all very much. There are affiliate links uh, below as well as a place to join patron. If you want to help me out, I appreciate it. You don't have to though. Today we're going to be looking at this very special GM line giant mouse knife. Uh, my buddy Eric loaned this to me for an overview. So I appreciate you very much, Eric. Thank you for doing that. It's awesome. This is an amazing, uh, an amazing knife for sure. So one of my favorite um, knife manufacturers is Giant Mouse Knives, the combined might of Jesper Voxnasians, Anzo, and Jim Worth, and all the rest of the crew, uh, which I've gotten to meet a couple of them. They're consistently making me want to buy their designs. They make some fantastic stuff. They're classy. Uh, they're always high quality. They're very cool. I have a very soft spot in my heart for the the GMF1F fixed blade that I've shown off on this channel quite a bit. And today I get to look at this very rare uh, GMP9 from, again, from their GM line series. Now I got a look at the GMX earlier this year, the one that won Blade Show Blade of the Year in Atlanta. Very cool. Uh, I was able to visit uh, the Giant Mouse pop-up tent at an event in Kentucky with my dad. It was Father's Day weekend. It was a very special thing. And I was able to meet Jesper Voxnays and Jim Worth. And it was just an exciting time. They let me look at that knife. Uh, there is a video of that event, some uh, video and pictures that I took. And I show off that knife as well. It's very cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford to buy it. That's okay. I got my Ace Rio at that event. Very cool knife. So being able to speak with one of my favorite knife designers at length about knife making was just a very special day. Usually I have not dabbled with the Giant Mouse GM line because they're more premium, they're harder to get, and they're definitely more expensive. But they're a beautiful designed knife and there's some interesting things about the GM line. They don't make very many and when they finish making that batch, they don't make that one ever again. This is the nine. They're up to the 10. Can't wait to see what they do with the 11. All right, let's look at some specifications. This is a 7.85 inch long knife. It's got a 3.4 inch 20 CV blade with a combination hollow grind and a flat here on the Tonto tip. That uh, camera, camera's not, there you go. Obviously this version has the PVD black finish. Uh, PVD coated titanium scales with this really nice looking pocket clip. It is also titanium. It runs on bearings, has a liner lock, and it is absolutely drop shut. Everything but the bronze backspacer is blacked out. Kind of makes for a stunning amount of contrast there. And just, yeah, really pretty piece of work here. It's got a more traditional uh, Tonto shape to it, more Japanese style from what I understand. Um, you know, American made Tontos tend to be more angular than this. Just kind of interesting. Let's uh, look at some size comparisons. All right, let's look at these uh, side by side with some other knives you might be familiar with. This is the Spyderco PM2 and the Spyderco Paramilitary 3. GM9 kind of lines up somewhere in between those two. In case you're a Giant Mouse collector, let's look at some of the Giant Mouse knives that you might have in your collection. There is the Ace Grand and here is the Ace Rio which I got at that event that I talked about. I've got a video up on both of those if you want to check it out. Let's look at it next to some uh, very popular everyday carry folding knives. That's the Benchmade Bugout. This is the Civivi Elementum. I put that there because it's got a hollow grind as well. If you want a cheaper hollow grind that is still a really good knife that does not command a premium price, that might be a good alternate for you. Also, I thought it'd be interesting to put it up next to the Spider Go Smock and the Protec Malibu Flipper, which size wise, these all compare pretty decently uh, in length and general length. Uh, of course, the blade designs are very different, but these are both great everyday carry knives that you may have in your collection. One of my favorite new knives, uh, as far as budget knives goes, the CGRB Pyrite. This one's the all blacked out one. I haven't done an overview on this one yet because I just got it. And I thought I'd put up a couple of 
Tonto blades for you to check out as well. These are premium American made knives. That's the Tour Knife Merchant 2.0 and a Tonto. And this is the Chris Reeves sub I almost called it a Sabenza. The Chris Reeve Umnumzon with the Tonto Magna Cut. I just did a video on that. Both of these knives are excellent, excellent knives. If you want a Tonto, um, these might be kind of up your alley. This is coming in much cheaper than the GM9 would, if you could even buy this now. And this is coming in a little bit more expensive. I'll have links in the description below, as always, if you want to check any of these knives out. Uh, the GM line is extremely limited um, with the GM nines. As I understand it, they made 600 total of these. Only 200 of them look like this that feature more limited and alternate materials and colorways. The knives with the P in the name in the GM line, well, the P stands for pirate, which is awesome. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on um, the video, but on the pocket clip, there is the giant mouse pirate edition uh, stamped in there on that clip. Very cool. Here's the kicker for giant mouse enthusiasts and collectors. When they finish their small batch, they shut it down and uh, they throw the plans away and they don't make any more. <laughs> so I imagine they're off designing the next GM line knife at this point. There are 400 GM nines on the planet and 200 GM P nines. I think that's really interesting. They command a premium price. They're manufactured by Riot knives, which we all have come to know they make and they they do excellent work fit and finish on this thing is is incredible the milled titanium scales are gorgeous and grippy the blade is a very cool mashup of a hollow grind right here for sliciness and strength up here in the tip being a flat grind I don't know if you can see that very easily just like all giant mouse knives in my opinion it is very classy looking i love the way the blade sinks into the handle scales you can't see it anymore. The handle profile almost looks like a bit of a, a balisong style design there. It's a little bit of curve to it. The action is incredible. The jimping is in all the right spots, just like Giant Mouse is known for up here forward on the blade. It's very cool. Unfortunately, these are not available unless you find one on the secondary. I looked around and I didn't see any in the places that I usually look. But I look forward to seeing what they do next in the GM line. There's a reason that the GMX won Blade of the Year this year. They're just very, very high end, very high quality pocket knives. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next, which I'm just going to assume will be the Giant Mouse GM11. I haven't seen or heard anything announced yet, but I can't wait to see what they do. Thank you, Giant Mouse, for the inspiring designs. Keep up the great work. Thank you again, Eric, for loaning me this knife. I hate to give it back but I will. <laughs> and thank you to my patrons and subscribers for supporting me at Bucks Gearbox. I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you. Have a great day.